What's going on, y'all? So I wanted to touch up on this Miles Bridges situation, right? So when it comes down to that situation with the domestic violence, I don't, I don't sit over there and say anything until the facts all come out. Because I know these bras be lying. How do I know? Because I've been in that position. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These bras will sit over there, you understand me, uh, and mark they sales up. <laughs> They'll lie to you. They'll put you up in there. Because you didn't give them something or, you know what I mean, or they wanted something from you that you didn't give or whatever the case may be, right? <laughs> so I know. Um, I'm not saying he did do it. I'm not saying he didn't do it, but it's irresponsible for anybody to sit over there and make and pass judgment on it. And they don't know all the facts, <laughs> but however, right. What don't look good is that this bra is out at some twerk contests, drunk and shit. So that gives me to my other message that I'm about to sit over there and say. You got to know when to walk away, y'all. You got to know, you know what I'm saying? You can't, because you know what I'm saying? You sitting over there sticking with a situation that don't benefit you. I always tell y'all, you sticking yourself in a situation that don't benefit you can push you to a situation where you might feel like you got to put hands on a bra, even though I don't recommend you or you shouldn't. Because, you know what I'm saying, once you sit over there and master this game, <laughs> it's a no-contact sport. You can get anything you want to accomplish with, <laughs> with this mouthpiece. I promise you that. You know, it seems to me that we're going to keep it real, right? When they were in a relationship, right? That's his wife, right? You twerking and shit, and you a wife, though. <laughs> yeah, all right. That tells me everything I need to know. So that tells me she ain't respect him. That tells me she was a quarrelsome woman. You know what I'm saying? But he put up with that shit. Motherfucker, you Miles Bridges. Man, start over. Get you a new one. You an NBA player. If you want to sit over there and get you, you know what I'm saying? You, that, nigga, you got your pick. And even for my people that ain't NBA players, that's just, you know what I mean? They're just out here, my regular, my regular Deglers. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with being a regular Degler. Don't ever be in a situation that don't sit over there and benefit you. A relationship is give and take. And if you're not benefiting, leave. And being with a course of women can sit over there, you know what I'm saying, and jeopardize your entire life, which can possibly be happening with Miles Bridges. I'm going to sit over there, you understand me? I'm going to give you a situation because I was just dealing, I just had to, uh, uh, probably about a few months ago, because I got a couple of receipts on here, um, dealing with a quarrelsome woman. When I tell you that bitch wasn't shit, that bitch wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, the, the bitch was sneaky. <laughs> you know what I mean? She ain't think I knew, but I knew the bitch was sneaky. So, you know what I mean? I'm I'm driving in the car with the bitch, you understand me? And I told her, I was like, hey, this a rap. That bitch fucked around, you understand me? And threw a motherfucking fit. The bitch, you understand me? Motherfucking throwing a water bottle at a crib. I'm like, I'm like, don't beat this bitch ass, cuz. Don't beat this bitch ass, cuz. Don't beat this bitch ass, cuz. Keep your cool. I had to talk to myself. Keep your cool. I had to take deep breath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the bitch out here grabbing my steering wheel, cuz. The bitch was just wilding. And you know, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Being outside, cuz. You see all that commotion. Guess what? Oh, um, 
there's this woman in danger. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I think she's in danger. You should check it out, police. Type shit. And I ain't do shit. And I can get crucified. I'm a black man. Nigga. So when I dropped that bitch off, that bitch was on block. Because all I seen, cuz, was my freedom flash before my eyes. Because I knew if I kept fucking with that bitch, that could sit over there eventually, you feel me, had me do something that I could regret down the line. So instead of me doing that, I chose to get rid of her ass. My peace of mind means more than anything. My life means more than just fucking with a cute ass bitch that don't benefit me. Yeah, she did shit for a crib, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Which kept her, you feel me, around but at the same time uh I, I say this all the time yeah you make sacrifices for a crib though but you didn't give me full obedience and just because you make sacrifices for a crib that'll mean that you are obedient and i need both obedience and your sacrifice you feel me and if i can't get both we will not last she couldn't give me her full obedience so therefore she had to sit over there and hit the road jack and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. <laughs> you understand me? But just think though, right? Fucking with that quarrelsome ass bitch. I might not be here talking to you today. You know what I'm saying? That bitch is pretty much like Miles Bridges' wife. You only want to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, but just look at the content of the character of this bitch, my nigga. It's just not worth it. That's why you got to sit over there, you understand me? I don't give a fuck how good that pussy is, how good that head is. The bitch is not worth your freedom, cuz. Nigga, don't be afraid, cuz y'all got to think about abundance, right? Think of this shit as abundance. If, nigga, you know what I always do? Y'all know this, cuz. Anybody who been following me, cuz, since day one. When I let a bitch go, I'm talking about her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, nigga, I'm about to go knock me a new one. Nigga, I'm about to go knock me a new one. And I always do. Nigga. This, we outnumbered. <laughs> The ratio from women to men is like three to one. There ain't that many of us, but there's a lot of y'all. So why sit over there and take some shit from one? Well, you can sit over there and find one that like you and that's going to give you sacrifice and obedience. See, y'all scared to start over. Y'all scared to sit over there, you understand me? And y'all just... Y'all, it's, it's like y'all don't want more. It's like y'all don't want the best. It's like y'all cool with receiving less from a bitch. And that is unacceptable. That's unacceptable. She is a help me. If she's not helping your life, she's not adding value to your life. She's not making your life easier. Then what the fuck is she here for? Fuck a conversation. Fuck a kicking it. Fuck some sex. What the fuck is she here for? Especially for all my niggas who, who got a plan in life. Who, who, you know what I'm saying? Who's on a mission. She need to be contributing to the mission. If she ain't contributing to the motherfucking mission, cuz, why is she here? Why is she here, cuz? For all my... Y'all gotta sit over there, you understand me? And really sit over there 
and think, cuz. Is she an asset to you or is she a liability? And if and if you thinking about and if when you think of this bra, right? I want y'all, I want y'all niggas to do this, cuz. I want y'all to write a piece of paper right now. The woman or the women in your life have a pro section and have a con section. And if the cons outweigh them pros, you know what you need to do. And if the pros outweigh them cons, you got you something. You shouldn't be dealing with no woman that the call that the cons outweigh the pros. And Miles Bridges was dealing with a woman and married a woman that had the heart of a harlot. When you sit over there and marry a woman, now now you dealing with now this is a covenant before God. <laughs> this is vows for rich or for poor, for better or for worse, through sickness and in health. Not about your motherfucking happiness. It's about duty. And he chose to sit over there and take on this covenant before God with a broad that wasn't on the same page as him. Now my nigga in a position to lose the bag that he worked his whole life for. You done made sacrifices since you was little to be here. You are in the NBA. A small percentage of the population makes it to the NBA. And you let a woman fuck that up. Your years of hard work. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Y'all work too fucking hard to let a woman fuck that shit up, y'all. Y'all work too goddamn hard. It ain't worth it. I promise y'all, y'all don't want to leave that woman right now, right? But just look when you get another one. You ain't going to be thinking about that, bro, cuz. You motherfuckers think y'all in love? Y'all niggas ain't in love. You just lusting. I'm not scared to let nobody go out of my life. And y'all need to have that same mindset. I don't give a fuck if we've been 10 years in the game. You move a contrary to what I'm about. You will go. And that's the same mindset that y'all have to have. Y'all have to have, especially in today's time. Y'all have to. Or y'all could be in a position like Miles Bridges. And I don't want to see y'all in a position like Miles Bridges. Some of y'all got some bright ass futures, bro. Some of y'all about to do some good things. No, fuck that. All of y'all about to do some good things. Don't let a woman fuck that up. Don't let her fuck that up, y'all. So you got to make better decisions. You got to you gotta choose better, y'all. Everything in life, whether it's good or bad, is because of you. So you make the decision, bro. Do you want good to happen in your life or bad to happen in your life, bro? The choice is yours. Leave these quarrelsome ass, no morals having ass woman alone and get you a woman that stands for something that got some motherfucking morals that like you and want to see you win. I always tell a woman, cuz, hey, hold on, you talking about all this. If you want to see me with it, then you need to help me get it, baby. <laughs> Straight up. You need to submit and commit. And if that ain't you, we're not going to last. Because I don't want her to fornicate with you. I'm trying to sit over there. I'm on a mission. So you got to pick up the tempo. And if she can't get with that, y'all. Skirt, skirt on her. But y'all like, comment, and subscribe, though. We out.